Hello everyone, I'm Momita and today I'm going to publicly channel Yeshua for the first time. Today he's going to talk about the Holy Trinity and when I got to know that the Holy Trinity is not the same as we always thought it to be, my mind was blown. So we think that the Holy Trinity is the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit, but that is not true. And doing these transmissions, all the beings who come through me do these kinds of transmissions so that we can change the narratives that we have been fed about our past, about our histories, about our lineage, so that we can modify our identities if we have based our identities on those past narratives. That allows us to anchor into the golden earth energies of the future. This is going to be a very transformative transmission. And before I start channeling Yeshua, if you want to have a private channeling session with me, you can check the description below. I've provided the links. Or if you want to learn how to channel like me, I've also provided the links for that too. Hope you enjoy this transmission and be prepared to have your mind blown. Dear my children, I am Yeshua and I bring news to you, news about how you have been living on earth till now and how you have chosen to change your timelines. Now you wish to change and anchor yourself to a happier earth, a golden earth, where you are abundant, prosperous. And for that to happen, you need to change a lot of things that you know to be true. So today's transmission is one of those that changes your past, your history, your lineage. As you know, <clears throat> you have been told that the Holy Trinity of Divinity has been the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. However, have you ever questioned why there is only <clears throat> masculine energy in the Holy Trinity? Have you ever thought why there is no duality in the Holy Trinity. Remember, you live in a dualistic universe. The masculine, the feminine, and the middle point or the balance point, which is neither. This is the Holy Trinity the true Holy Trinity, no matter what religion you follow, the Holy Trinity must govern this aspect, this representation of duality and finding the balance point. Now that you live in the age of Pisces and gradually moving towards the age of Aquarius, Pisces represents the dual energy, the yin and the yang energy. And you are eventually moving towards the Aquarian revolution, the rebellion period where you will no longer accept what you have been told. So,
now is the time to change your narratives so that you can change who you are and have a deeper understanding about who you are. So the correct Holy Trinity is the Father, the Mother, and the Holy Spirit. It is not the Son, for the Father and the Mother represent the yin-yang, the masculine, the feminine energies, and the Holy Spirit, the central point, the balance point. This is the correct divination. Now, you might be wondering then why you have been told that the Holy Trinity has always been about the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, this goes back to your narrative of Adam and Eve, where Eve was blamed to having eaten the apple. That is also an incorrect narrative, but today I'm not going to go into that. But because the feminine or Eve has been blamed or responsible in your leader's mind that has caused man's downfall, that is why the feminine aspect was removed from the Holy Trinity because how can the feminine energy be divine when they have committed such felony, right? And hence, it became the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The feminine had to take the fall for something that they didn't do. Remember, these narratives must be questioned when you read them because they are not always historically accurate. The narratives of Adam and Eve are about the energetic representation of the masculine and the feminine human energies which decided to take birth on earth. So anytime you encounter the word fall, it usually means physicalization, materialization, meaning from the higher realms, from the non-physical realms, you are choosing to become matter, you are choosing to become physical. That experience is often symbolically referred to as fall, because you would know this, that sometimes when you are sleeping, you might have that falling sensation. And when you wake up, you might find that you were still on the bed, but you still felt like you were falling. That's because your soul was in the astral realm and it came back to the body. Your point of view was in the astral realm and that coming back to the physical body, the sensation feels like falling. Similarly, when Adam and Eve chose to fall, basically they wanted to materialize, physicalize, to experience all the physical pleasures that earth had to offer. As humans, you were mostly in the energetic realm. So, when you decided to physicalize, that is what is referred to as throwing, being thrown out of heaven in your religious texts because physical life has its own challenges but your ancestors still wanted to experience the physical experience because it has its own blessings 
blessings of physical sensations of pleasure. These things cannot be felt the way it can be felt in the physical realm. This cannot be felt the same way in the spirit realm. That is why your ancestors chose to physicalize. And upon physicalizing, they realized the limitations of physicalizing. But they still wanted to experience the physical reality. And since physical reality comes with the amnesia of not being able to remember who your true self is, eventually you lost connection, you forgot your real self and the physical world became your reality. You all have forgotten who you are. Your physical self is an illusion, a perspective that your spirit self wishes to have to experience whatever it wishes to experience through your life theme. So, it was not Eve's fault for eating an apple. Those are symbolic representation. Both the masculine and the feminine energies that you refer to as Adam and Eve experience what physical pleasure is like, the sensation of tasting something has been referred to eating an apple, the physical pleasures that humans enjoy or even animals enjoy. So the eating of apple is a representation of wanting to experience physical pleasures and both the masculine, the feminine, the Adam and the Eve wanted to experience a physical life, the physical experience. That is why you chose to materialize, otherwise you wouldn't. Nobody can force you to do something without your explicit permission. So, now that you know this information, How do you feel towards it? Does it trigger you? Does it motivate you? Does it bring you peace? Notice how you feel when you have heard this information so that you can introspect whether you really want to move towards a more balanced earth where the masculine and the feminine energies are equally respected or a more disbalanced one like the one you have right now. Your reaction to disinformation will tell you which earth you want to be in. For if you are triggered, then you need to use this as a reflection of what is triggering about it and then do shadow work or healing work to release the trigger so that you can become more of who you are. Remember, your connection with the divine increases the more you get to know closer to the truth. While truth can be subjected for every person, there are certain metaphysical truths that prevail in your universe. And the closer you are to those truths, the more it's going to expand your viewpoints, the more it's going to make you connect with the divine, the more it will allow you to remember who you are and unlock your true potential. So always notice how any information nourishes you or resonates with you. Any information that creates confusion is not the right information for you. Any information that lowers your vibration is not the right information for you. Some of you 
who will get triggered by this transmission and do not wish to do anything about it, you will be moving to a different parallel earth than those who do. For it is up to you how you wish to create your reality, how you wish to create your reality. Source or all that is will support you lovingly and unconditionally no matter what reality you choose to create for yourself. So with this, I would like to take my leave today. <laughs>